hello guys this is joshua matthew welcome back to my channel if you are old here, thanks for coming back and if you are old here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video so today we are going to design a church flyer or a poster so before any further ado let's get started so this is my photoshop and the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to file then select new then i'm going to print then i'm going to select a4 paper size i will change it to inches then and my color mode i'm going to leave it for cmyk that is for printing so if you are to design something that is going to be printed then make sure that you select cmyk color before you start the designing all right now i'm going to click on grids then before then i'm going to change it to landscape here i'm going to use landscape then click on grids all right so this is our canva here now and i'm going to leave a link of my father account in the description so if you are interested to purchase any of my graphic design Please kindly do order through my Fiverr account. Thank you. Let's get into design. All right. Here are the files I'm going to use in this tutorial. And my test is here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to import this one into Photoshop. Then you scale it out to full the background then click OK then after then the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to my filter then go to blur Gaussian blur then I'm going to input 27.7 so this will be OK for me then the second image I'm going to use I'm going to import this one then I right click then flip vertical and fold the background now go back to your filter your blur gaussian blur then here i'm going to import 9.6 it's okay like this then you click ok after that then you go to your blending mode then I change it to overlay. So you can see how it come out now. So after this one, then I'm going back to my file here and I'm going to bring this one. Then you click OK. Then why I will drag this one up here. I'll drag it up here. All right then i'm going to apply blur blur go to your filter then go to your blur select gaussian blur then i'm going to import 23.5 here yeah, it's okay then you click okay now on this one i'm going to apply a layer mask then select your gradient to or you press g on using the keyboard now I'm going to change this color here then go to basic then you select this transparent something like this it's okay then the other one I'm going to bring, the image I'm going to bring now is this worship. Then I'll take it up this way. Then reduce it. Then I'll reduce it. Then I will leave it this way. Then click OK. Now apply your Gaussian blur and sorry 
uh, apply your blending mode and I'm going to use hard lights so you can see how it come out then after this one then apply your layer mask then go to your gradient tool then I'm going to blend around here then the bottom and this side then you click ok all right so after we are done with this image this way then i'm going to reduce the opacity to around 33 33 is okay 33 is okay then i can drag it up a little then so like this then this image then you can drag it up this way it's okay then i'm going to select the mask then and apply mask here to blend the edge okay so now that we have done with this and the next one i'm going to import is the pastor Then I'm going to rasterize the image. Then go to your property and I'm going to remove the background. Now that you have removed the background, then I'm, I would like to, to adjust the brightness. Then I will adjust this like this 23. Then the constant constructs i will make it 10 is okay 23 and 10 all right okay so after this then i'm going to uh, convert it to smart objects then increase the size of the image so okay so click like this then after this one now so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a new layer then press b on your keyboard i'm going to apply a brush so this brush is here you can download it from brush chasing okay then i'm going to reduce the size of this brush or increase it then i'm going to click now to apply the brush then i'll click again two times okay so we are done with that one now we are moving into our test then i'm going to group this one now Control plus g this is our background then press t on your keyboard to select the test tool then before then i'm going to import this logo here that is the short logo then reduce the size i'll position it around here for now then click here then go to your test tool i mean your test and i'm going to copy this test here then ctrl plus v to paste then now i'm going to change the fonts then change it to verbas new then leave it at bonus then i'm going to increase the size of the font Then you bring it down this way okay then adjust 
the space by 0%. Then there is this effect I'm going to apply on it. Then go to your, to your blending option. Then apply shadow. Then on the opacity, then make it 100%. Then the angle 90, the distance make it 12. Then and the size, I mean the spread, make it 14. And the size, they leave it at 18. Then go back, I'm going to change this blending mode to multiplying and the opacity i'm going to reduce it to to 88 now i'm going to apply a gradient so you can see this gradient color yeah so follow the setting i have the test in fact yeah so you can follow the setting then you click ok all right, so after then, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select my test tool again, and I'm going to type, or come over here to copy, Control plus C to copy. Now, change the, the font to popping, then Control plus V to paste, then you click OK. Now I'm going to reduce the space by minus 40. Then reduce the font size. It's okay then use your mouse to bring take it up then select you the two test while holding your shift key then I'm going to apply vertical alignment then I'm going to apply effects of on this one so then here you can see the gradient overlay then you can copy it Control plus C then go to your gradients overlay then click here apply the color ctrl plus v to paste then come back to your test then ctrl plus c to copy then click here ctrl plus v to paste then you click OK. So now you can see how the color come out. Then you click OK. Then you go to your shadow and uh, in this shadow now, so I'm going to change to change the test, uh, the test here yeah, that is the number to so, and the opacity. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the opacity to 60, 68. Then leave the angle at 90. And the distance, I'm going to change it 14. Then the spread, leave it at 13. And the size, 24. Then you click OK. So now that we are done with this one, then we move for forward. Control plus G to group. Then select your test. And I'm going to copy the team. 
then control plus V to paste and now we change the font to Tuesday night then click OK then now we bring it I'll bring it somewhere here then I'm going to rotate it 90 degree then I'll click OK so what I'm going to do I'm going to open this test then I'm going to copy the layer of this one copy layer style you see it here then click on this one and you paste the layer style so after this one then I'm going to copy my test again I'm going to copy this one control plus C to copy then select your test tool control plus V to paste then go back to your font and change the font to Beba's new then make it bold then I'm going to increase the size then this one I'm going to remove this one then increase the size then I'll position it over there so okay like this then my team I will bring it here reduce the size then position it up here okay so having done this one now then the next thing I'm going to do then I'm going to apply the infect okay so the infect of this one is I'm going to copy control plus C then select the test then go to your gradient overlay Then click here and paste click OK so as you can see I have the location here see this is 20 so now I'm going to click somewhere here then control plus V to paste then go to location and enter 20 you will see that it's moved to this side now then i will go back again to copy this one while the location is 50 then i'll click somewhere here then ctrl plus v to paste then the location input 50 you will see that it will move to that 50 then control plus C to copy again then select this one then control plus V to paste so remember the location is 79 now I'm going to enter 79 here and the last one I'm going to input the number then this one is 100 percent then i'll click ok so now that we are done with this this one then the the blending mode is 100 is normal and the opacity is 100 percent then the scale here you leave it at 100 okay now so we are going to our bevel and emboss now to so the bevel and emboss then leave the, the depth now I'm going to input 175 and the size 
leave it at 7 then leave this one at 0 okay then the angle then leave it at 90 and the altitude i'm going to enter 60 all right then click no before then we are going to apply the shadow so on our shadow use multiply then the opacity then it's going to be 88 then the angle 90 the distance then it's going to be 15 15 then the spread also 15 and the size make it 43 all right so then you click ok so this is what you will have then after we have done with this one then i'm going to copy this test here worship we come first before to then select your test to now change the form to tuesday night then control plus v to paste then increase the font size Okay, something like this. All right. Then after this one, then we are going to apply shadow to it. Then go back to your shadow. You select your drop shadow. Then select multiply. Then the opacity, you change it to 75. Then leave the angle at 90. Then the distance 17 then the spread 19 and the size 13 so you can see the outcome of it then i'll click ok then go to your ellipse tool and we are going to draw a cycle here So in this cycle now, we are going to copy the layer style of this effect, of this uh, test here. Then we are going to copy it, then go to your ellipse tool, then right click and then uh, paste the layer style. So this is the change you are going to have. Then I'm now going to select my test tool and I will type the test. Then I'll move it here. Then select your test tool and change the font to Poppins. Then make it bold. All right. Now I'm going to copy the layer style of this one. then scroll up then you go back and uh, paste the layer style so you can see the outcome now what i'm going to do now is to reduce the font size then you select the ellipse tool with the test 
and apply vertical and horizontal alignment. So this is the outcome of it. So what I'm going to do on this test, I'm going to use my arrow key then to drag this one up the team and it up then the ellipse tool and your test you drag it up this way all right so having done this one then we move again then i'm going to draw another ellipse tool here Like this then I'm going to copy the effects of this one then control plus no this one you are not going to use control plus then right click and paste the layer style so you can see what we have now all right so then you duplicate it control plus J then right click and clear the layer style you see you have a white color yeah okay then the first ls2 i'm going to convert it to smart objects then click on this one now and what are you going to do you right click then you create a clipping mask now i'm going to reduce the opacity to around okay let me leave it at 60 so you can see the outcome of it then i'm going to copy the name control plus c to copy select your test to then control plus v to paste Then change the color to black. Reduce the size. Then duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J. You bring it down. Then come to your test. Then you copy this test, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now increase the size. Okay, then I'm going to copy this layer style. Then come to this name here. You right click and you paste, paste it. So then this is what we have. All right. Now I'm going to group these two and name it also group this one and name it okay now we are going to import this image that is the icon then reduce the size it's okay like this then if you want you can reduce it more then go to your test and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy it. select your test to
Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color to this color here. Then change the font to poppies. Then make it bold. It's too bold. Then I will use semi bold. Then I will reduce the size. Then bring it over here. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then you position it here, select your test to highlight it. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to highlight this one. Then apply superscript. Then change the font color to black. Increase the font size. Then I'm going to change the font to Berber's new. Then you make it bold. Then increase the font size. Drag it up this way. All right. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J. Then you bring it down. Then I'm going to import 2023. Then this time I'm going to reduce the size of the font. Then increase, open the space. Then you click OK. So you can see the outcome of it. All right. Now, having done this one, the next thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to draw a rectangle. So, okay, like this. Then I'm going to use this color. Then on this test here, January, I'm going to, to use this color so that it will come out well. All right. Now, hold your shift key while you select it together. Then I'm going to drag it up here and I will group it. Then you can name it as your date. So now apply your drop shadow. Then use multiply. Then opacity 88, angle 90. Then the distance input for the spread, make use of six. And the size, I'm going to use eight. So it's not going to be much. Then I'll click OK. All right. Now, then I'm going to import this icon. Then reduce the size of it. Then come to your test, copy your location. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then 
then change the font to black then I'm going to close the space by that is the character space by 0% then change it to center then you can open it at least like this it's okay then control plus zero so that i will see how it come out okay uh, it can be seen and readable now then i'll bring it down this way then the icon i'll bring it down this way then come over here you duplicate this one then i'll take it over here then i'll bring this icon for time Then I'll drag it here. Then highlight it. Then I'm going to type 8 p.m. Then I will reduce the size of this one. Like this. Then increase the size of this one drag this one up so here is the time then why this is our location Okay, so now I'm going to group this one together. Then Ctrl plus G to group it. So this is our date. Okay, now so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the size of it. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So this is what we have in this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to, to give it a thumbs up and make a comment about how it is. Error is okay or there is any amendments so how you see it or what improvement do you think i should apply to it please let me know in the comment section to my followers i really appreciate and i want you to know that if you are interested to join fiverr accounts please i'm leaving a link in the description below so you can click on it and get your own account if you don't know how to create a fiverr account please you can send me a message through my social media audio then and I will show you how to do it. Thanks so much. I really appreciate your following.